Welcome by Retro Machines, my name is Victor Bart. I'm sorry that I didn't upload much videos on this channel lately. My life is quite busy right now and in uh, Suriname on holiday I shot a film about the trucks there. It took some time to edit and you can watch it on my uh, truck channel wheels. I also worked on my channel Dutch Video Shooter. It's a channel about filmmaking, cameras, lenses and things like that. In the future Retro Machines will benefit a lot from that channel. Because with the care I gonna review and try on that channel, I can make better quality content for this channel. So I like to invite you to Dutch Video Shooter and if you like that content, please consider subscribing and helping me out to grow that channel. Also I just uploaded some videos on Dutch Video Shooters, I shot them on IBC 2017 camera show. But in this video we're gonna try out the 486 from uh, vlog uh, 25 and the current state of the system that's broken. <laughs> So let's power up this 486. The hard drive is spinning. The screen is turning on. And wait a minute, the system is working. What? This is strange. In my previous video, the system didn't work. And I just put it in the corner of the room and now it's working. And it looks like the system is crashed. I gonna disconnect all the drives and cables so to see if it will boot further than uh, only the first screen. With the cables now disconnected it doesn't give any display anymore. So I gonna remove more parts to see where the system is failing. Let's remove the Facer Local Bus IDE controller. Here we have the Facer Local Bus IDE slash IO controller with one IDE channel, one floppy uh, channel, two COM ports, a CAME port and a parallel port. And the chipset is on Coldstar Prime 2C. Okay, with another part removed, the system does do less than before because now even the display uh, doesn't turn green anymore. Let's swap out the video card. I don't get this system, now it's beeping, it's totally falling apart in my hands. Going on with this piece of crap. Let's swap out the face of local bus video card with a normal ISA video card, which I know it's working. I think this motherboard has some serious issues. I think I gonna swap out the memory because uh, there is something uh, really uh, not good with this system. Here I have all my 72 and 30 pin uh, sims, so I have more than enough replacement memory. I have a plan. Let's turn this into a cat video. I think also this plan has failed. I think only the cat likes this computer. Let's remove the 72 pin uh, sims and let's install the turbo RAM. If that doesn't help, I don't know it anymore. Or maybe this set of Samsung memory. So let's try the turbo memory. And it doesn't help. I think I have a plan for this system. 
I just gonna part it out and scrap most of its parts because it's broken. And sometimes PCs in a dumpster are really broken. Maybe a lightning strike has hit this system so it uh, works half but not stable so I just gonna give up this system. And also I don't have a side cover for this case and sometimes you're just not lucky with a dumpster find and this is one of them. So here we have all the parts. I don't have the side cover of this uh, case and also it doesn't have a turbo display or anything special so I don't gonna keep it but I gonna keep the PC speaker. Here we have the motherboard. It's a uh, 486 motherboard with 3 phase local bus slots and a socket 3, 4 30 pin uh, SIM banks and 2 72 pin SIM banks. Here we have the cache. It has an UMC uh, chipset, an UM8498F, and the brand is a Biostar and the model is an MB1433. The battery hasn't leaked and the BIOS is an AMI BIOS. I don't gonna keep this motherboard because it's causing me too much troubles, but I gonna give it to a friend of mine. I'm sure he will try out this motherboard to see if he can find a problem with it. And if it's really broken, he will probably use it as a donor board to repair other motherboards. Because with 30 pin sims, sometimes the plastic clips will break. So he just desolders sim banks from this motherboard and solders it on the other motherboard to repair that one. Here is the Faser Locobus I.O. controller and the Faser Locobus VGA card. And I also gonna give it away to that friend because I don't have need for it. Here we have the CPU, it's a Cyrex CX486, it's a DX266 MHz and I'm gonna keep it in my collection. The CPU was cooled by this little tiny heatsink, it's always handy to have some 486 cooling blocks. Here are the two memory sticks, I don't know much about them because there's not much written on them, but I just gonna put it on a motherboard and give it to that friend. So he can figure out what he gonna do with it. Here we have a 180 watt power supply and I gonna keep it in my collection. Here we have the 12 speed CD-ROM player and we have a 1.44 megabyte floppy drive and a Seagate hard drive. The installed hard drive is an ST3491A and it's a 420 megabyte hard drive. It's a perfect hard drive for a 486 MS-DOS build. So I will try out this hard drive and keep it. On the bottom of the case is this sticker, so it's probably the original configuration. So here you have it, the 486 with too much troubles to get it fixed, so we parted it out. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. You can join Retro Machines on Facebook and you can support me on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to my filmmaking channel Dutch Video Shooter.